Hey guys, Eric with Eric's Garage AZ coming at you today. And today we're gonna to do a little bit different video. We are actually going to be doing a video of how to remove and reinstall a windshield washer pump on a 2009 Jeep Wrangler. So stick around. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do when you find that your pump is not working is locate where the pump is. And in this particular vehicle, the pump is located behind the ECM. And I'll show you that here in just a second. All right, so as I mentioned, the pump is located behind the ECM. And here's the ECM. And this is on a 2009 Jeep Wrangler, and it's located, the ECM is located on the driver's side. Here's your windshield washer reservoir here. And the pump is located behind all these plugs. You have these four different plugs here that go on the ECM, and they have pretty large cables attached to them. And the pump is located down below there's a pump right there, the little white thing. That's a pump. So what you have to do though, in order to get the pump, is you have to remove one of these here. So I removed this one here and we're gonna put it back. So I'll show you how to do that. All right, so I live in a very, very dusty climate. I live in Arizona. And I had to use just a little bit of WD-40 to spray onto the clip right there. Just a little bit to loosen it up. I let it sit there for a few minutes. And then I grab this clip right here, grab the entire unit, and start to move it. Can you see it move a little bit? Let it move, that way the WD-40 worked in it even further. And then I simply slid the clip back and removed it. And I'll show you how to do that in just a second. But a lot of guys out there in Eric's Garage IZ Lynn live in climates which are colder, or they have more water, or they have more dirt, grime, or perhaps you even took your uh, Jeep off-road which we don't do that too much with this vehicle because it's my wife's daily driver. Uh, but you might want to use this stuff here. I already showed it to you, PB Blaster. But again, just a little drop, just a little bit on that clip right there, and you should be good to go. Let's see if we can move the clip with a hand. Yep, move the clip. All right, let's do this. There you go, it comes right off. The clip's right there, or the plug's right there, and the unit's right there. And I'm going to tuck this back here. Now, sometimes you might have to use a zip tie or something to keep it out of the way because you have to access that down there in order to pull the pump out. All right? So we're going to do that in just a second. All right, so I actually ended up having to zip tie that plug out of the way so I could get to the um, windshield washer pump. So it's right here. And there's a, top, there's a plug right there, the very top of it. I'm just going to reach in here and pull it out and the pump comes out like that and there's a the pump right there and I don't even see it or not here we'll move the camera a little bit don't get busy but you see the pump right there in my hand there's a pump right there in my hand and you have two I have two feeder hoses one here and the other one's located right here all right hopefully this light will help a little bit but uh, one plug is located right, one feeder hose is located right there, and the other one is located right there. And so what we need to do is take off this plug here, because that plug actually is a plug that, when you flip the switch, it actuates the washer pump motor here. So we're gonna undo that and pull the motor right up and talk to you in a second. Okay, so we've got the pump out, and as you see, the, the pump is attached to that uh, white thing there where you have the two outlets that connect to the hoses. And again, I have two hoses on my car because it's a Jeep Wrangler. Now there's the, the electric plug that goes into the top of the unit and there's those two hoses. And just make sure you put the hoses back in the same spot they were before, otherwise you're going to have some what of a reverse flow. And uh, now the simple thing is just remember where to get the part from. And I actually order all of my parts from AutoZone. And the reason I do that is because the parts have a lifetime warranty on the part. Of course, they don't warranty the labor because there's only a part. But I found them to be very, very reliable. You can order it online. Or what I do is I call my local store and they're about five minutes, 10 minutes from my house. And they usually have it in stock. If they don't have it in stock, they can get it at another store, which is another 10 minutes away. Or they can simply order in for the next day delivery or something like that. Uh, but I use AutoZone because they're really good. And again, the lifetime warranty on the stuff. 
All right, there's a little trick you need to know about when you're getting this pump uh, from your auto parts distributor, whether it's AutoZone, which is what I use, or some other distributor, you have to get a filter grommet, which is that device there, and a filter grommet goes into the reservoir itself to filter out debris, and then the grommet goes on the bottom side of the pump uh, where that little black fitting is, and it is supposed to provide a watertight seal once you install the fitting into the grommet, into the filter, and then insert that whole collection of products, the two products there, into the reservoir where your washer fluid is. The problem is with that though is that that is plastic. The grommet itself is plastic. The filter is fine, but the grommet itself is plastic, and it ended up leaking all over the ground. I plugged it in, the pump worked, I was happy, buttoned it all up again, and all of a sudden I saw a big old puddle of uh, liquid underneath my uh, underneath my Jeep, and I realized that the actual pump itself was leaking. So I did a little bit more research, went to a blog, I don't remember the name of the Jeep organization I went to, but they suggested that I get a BMW part of all things, right? Who'd have thought BMW and Jeep share the same type of part? But that's the part right there. Instead of it being plastic, where the grommet is, it's actually made out of rubber, so it does a significantly better job in sealing than did the plastic part there. And believe it or not, the um, BMW part was actually less expensive than the part that I purchased from AutoZone. So go figure that right. So that's a point to make. Whenever you go shopping for a water, a windshield washer solid pump, make sure you get the grommet and the filter, but get the grommet and filter from BMW, not from Auto Parts Store, because the one from BMW has the rubber seal, not the plastic seal, because the plastic seal really doesn't technically seal like the rubber seal does. Hopefully that'll help you out. And in the meantime, check out some more here. All right, so what you see in my hand is the completed uh, windshield washer solid pump with that BMW part attached to it, which is actually the grommet and the filter. And I'm going to pull them apart here so you can actually see. There you go. So that's the end that the water pump um, goes into that filter with. And so we're going to reassemble it to make sure you just put the right stuff at the right place there. The filter goes on. It goes on kind of snug, which is good. And then the rubber ground pushes up against the body of the pump itself. And now you have to fit it into that little compartment down there at the bottom of the uh, ECM where the uh, reservoir actually is. All right, in this part of the video here, you're going to see where actually the pump and uh, filter needs to go. The filter assembly attached to the pump needs to go in a little hole there with the filter going inside that hole and it'll actually as a top of the bottom portion of the reservoir. So it'll take a little bit of finagling, but uh, you'll be able to get it in there without any kind of a problem at all. It's not real difficult, but I just want to show you that. So what you want to do before you try to put that pump in there is make sure you hook up those hoses to those two fittings on there. It's kind of squirrely getting in there, but you'll be able to get them on there without a problem and just push it right back into the, the hole where the uh, filter goes and you should be all set without any more issues at all. So in this video, I'm showing you that I actually got that uh, windshield washer fluid pump installed and it just kind of pushed right down into the um, hole there in the top of the washer fluid reservoir. And I'm uh, just reminding you to be sure to attach the plugs. And if you had to remove that ECM cable, which you'll have to, and zip tie it, just to be sure to clip off the zip tie and plug that plug back in. Otherwise, your vehicle won't start. But I'm sure you'll figure that out before too long. All right, so we buttoned everything up, connected the ECM cable back to the ECM, uh, closed the lid, and turned on the washers, and lo and behold, look at that. My wife's going to be pleased. She'll be able to see going down the road. And my buddy Dave there. Hey, Dave. All right, man, it was cool. Thank you very much. Hopefully you learned something from this video. Hey, guys, thanks for watching the last video. I hand-selected a couple of videos for you to watch right now. Click here.